Now then, hello folks and welcome to my video gaming channel Retro Gamer Diaries. Today we're talking about the Commodore 64 game Airwolf. Airwolf is a series of shooter video games based on the TV series of the same name. The first game based on the series was released for the ZX Spectrum by Elite Systems in December 1984. The game was then also released on the Commodore 64, the Amstrad CPC and the Atari 8-bit family. A sequel, Airwolf 2, was also released in 1986, but we don't want to talk about that game, trust me. I own both the Synchro Spectrum and also the Commodore 64 version. Today, we're looking at the 1985 Commodore 64 version of this game. The game was designed and created by Chris Harvey and Neil A. Bate. I love these 80s TV series such as the A-Team and Knight Rider. For me, Airwolf was a bit of a rip-off to the Knight Rider series, except it was a fancy helicopter rather than that smart-ass talking car. Anyway, what is the plot of this 38-year-old 8-bit game? Well, as Stringfellow Hawk, a former Vietnam chopper pilot and the only man in the free world trained to fly the billion-dollar helicopter Airwolf, you have been assigned a dangerous rescue mission by the firm. Five important United States scientists are being held hostage deep in the subterranean base beneath the scorching Arizona desert. As Hawk, he must guide Airwolf using full stealth capabilities on a series of perilous nighttime missions and bring about the release of each scientist in turn. Only destruction of the defence control boxes strategically positioned within the cavern will allow Airwolf to descend to the heart of the base where the scientists are held. Very interesting, very, very interesting. Airwolf is viewed from the side and puts you in command of an attack helicopter. Moving onto a screen at a time, you must shoot out anything and everything in your path, including lots of regenerating static targets. Realistic gravity takes effect, so you can't simply hover in a set position. The game has you flying the helicopter largely in underground caves with almost no room to move and precision movement needed to avoid the traps, all while trying to hold the helicopter in the air. Control of the helicopter is certainly tricky at first. You must keep tapping up to keep it from falling through gravity. It maintains its height when travelling left or right. The game features many doors and walls which have to be opened by shooting buttons or switches or just by simply blasting it down. You can fire horizontally or downwards and by keeping fire pressed activates the auto fire. Anyway, let's have a look at the game.
I certainly used to like the Airwolf TV series as a kid. And playing the game brings back some good memories, especially the accurate soundtrack which plays throughout the game. The graphics are sharp and clear with good use of colour. There is smooth movement with all the characters. I found myself very addicted to this game, partly because it is so difficult, but you always manage to get a bit further with each game. So you gotta stick with it really. Playing it now, you'd be forgiven for wondering what all the fuss was about. There's not many different screens of play and it is arguably too difficult to be enjoyable. Graphically, it's not bad and this was probably the main reason why it did so well back then. People were seduced by the graphics. As helicopter action games go, it's not terrible. There are certainly worse, but in my opinion, Airwolf is not a retro gaming classic. It is an example how archaic video games did well back then because we didn't know any better and because publisher Elite pumped out thousands of pounds into marketing. Therefore, I'm going to rate this game 6 out of 10 stars. Not a terribly easy game and a bit of a letdown for fans of this series. Still, Airwolf is nowhere near as bad as its sequel, Airwolf 2, so we can at least be thankful for that small mercy. Well, there you go. That was my short review of the Commodore 64 game Airwolf. If you liked this video, then please press the like button. However, it would be great for you to subscribe to my new channel and become part of the gang. Go on, become part of the gang, you beautiful people. Until my next game review, have a great day and keep smiling. See you all very soon. Bye bye.